Dear viewers, greetings. In this video, we are going to see about urease test. The aim of the urease test is to determine the ability of an organism to produce an HO enzyme urease and degrade urea. Principle. In 1875, uh, Rioch found that the alkaline uh, fermentation of uh, urea which is present in the urine with the resultant production of ammonia was hypothesized to occur due to the action of the microorganisms. Uh, Christensen later formulated a medium that would allow the growth of other members of the Enterobacteriaceae that cannot utilize the byproduct of urea hydrolysis uh, that is the ammonia as a sole nitrogen source for growth. Uh, urea is a nitrogen containing compound that is produced during the decarboxylation of the amino acid arginine in the urea cycle. Uh, urea is a diamide of carbonic acid. Uh, many organisms like uh, Proteus virabilis, Proteus vulgaris, uh, Klebsiella pneumoniae and uh, Helicobacter pylori, uh, especially uh, those that infect the urinary tract have the urease enzyme which is able to split the urea in the presence of water uh, to release the ammonia and carbon dioxide. And next, the ammonia which was formed as a result of the breakdown of uh, urea uh, combines with carbon dioxide and water and results in the formation of ammonium carbonate which turns the Christensen urea agar medium alkaline. Uh, basically, uh, the pH of the Christensen urea agar was 6.8 and after the formation of the ammonium carbonate, the pH was increased to 8.1 and uh, turning the indicator uh, phenaltrate from its original yellow that is pH 6.8 color to bright pink that is 8.1. Uh, weak positive organisms may take several days and negative organisms produce no color change or yellow as a result of the acid production. And Christensen urea agar is widely used for the uh, urease uh, test but sometimes uh, Stewart's urea broth is also used. In Stewart's urea broth, uh, urease production is indicated by a pink color uh, formation in the broth. The materials required for the urease test are uh, test bacteria, Christensen urea agar slant, inoculation loop and incubator. Next the procedure, uh, streak the surface of Christensen urea agar slant with a portion of a well isolated bacterial colony and Incubate the inoculated Christensen urea agar slant at 37 degrees Celsius for 24 hours in an incubator. And after incubation, examine for the development of uh, pink color. In case of unknown result, incubate the tubes for 7 days to check for a slow urease production. And next, observation and result. In positive urease test, the color of the slant changes from light orange to pink. Organisms that hydrolyze urea rapidly, for example, protease species, may produce a positive reaction within 1 to 2 hours, and less active species like Klebsiella species may require 3 or more days. In routine, diagnost uh, in routine diagnostic laboratories, the urease test result is straight within 24 hours. In negative urease test, the agar slant and butt remains light orange, that is, the medium retains its original color. Uh, this image uh, shows the uh, urease positive and urease uh, negative slants and this uh, left side uh, slant shows the urease negative slant and the right side slant shows the uh, pink color urease positive slant. And some examples for the urease positive bacteria are Proteus mirabilis, Proteus vulgaris, Klebsiella pneumoniae and Helicobacter pylori. Uh, the Proteus mirabilis and Proteus vulgaris are considered as the uh, fast urease producers because uh, the Proteus species are able to produce the urease enzyme within uh, 1 to 2 hours. But the Klebsiella pneumoniae is uh, called as a late urease producer uh, because uh, it will take 3 days to produce the urease enzyme. Uh, dear viewers, thank you for your support. Thank you.